Greetings from the Pedal School District. I'm Matt Dillon, Superintendent of the Schools, and I'm excited to be with you today to bring an update for the month of August going into September. This is Pedal School District at a glance. We've been in school a month now, and I cannot be more panther proud of our faculty, staff, and students. We had an A-plus start around operations and procedures, and I am so pleased with our results. I want to say a big thank you to our great faculty and staff for making everything work and doing it at a very high level. I also want to say thank you to our families and parents and students for assisting us in a great start of the school year. Now, our return to school plan. We uh, sent that plan out in the middle of the summer, and we're continuing to update that, update that and monitoring that. Uh, you can find that on our district website. There's a COVID-19 tab, and there's three things on this tab that I want to explain to you. The first one is our return to school plan, and from there you can read all the details of our plan, from our cleaning protocols to how we're handling masks, uh, to what we're doing with close contact, all the different things around our return to school plan. Many of those same things that we used last year that allowed us to have school in person all year long. So please visit that plan. At the bottom of the plan, you will see a stamp update. So if we ever update that plan, you can see the date that we made those revisions. But also on that COVID tab, you're gonna see a second thing, and that is our flow chart, where you can find all the information you need to know about your student. For example, if they've tested positive for COVID, or if they've been around somebody, it gives you a flow chart on what your next steps are. It's very detailed. And as always, if we can help you in any way, please pick up the phone and call us or email us, and we will be happy to walk you through all those things. And the last thing on the COVID-19 uh, tab is our tracking document. Please be sure to review the COVID-19 info tab, and that will show you all the information on our weekly COVID numbers. Uh, from the students and staff that are positive to our quarantine as well. And that is updated every week in addition to what we have to send up to the state as well. All right, so let's talk about something exciting that we've done in the school district this year. It's the Coffee Bean Book Initiative. As you know, all of our students and staff are participating in a district-wide reading of the book entitled The Coffee Bean. We encourage you to read along with your student and help us live out this simple yet powerful message. There have already been many coffee bean moments this school year all throughout the district, and we are just getting started. Our new district theme, Transform and Thrive, was inspired by the book. We must embrace the message about making sure we impact our environment instead of letting our environment impact us. Although situations with the pandemic and politics and things are likely to change all around us throughout the year, our district is positioned to thrive in the face of adversity, as we always do. I have a few shout outs. I would like to take a moment to recognize and congratulate two of our very own educators, Miss Gwen Ann Merrill, an English teacher at Petal High School, and Miss Brittany Golf, a second grade teacher at Petal Primary School, were both selected by the Mississippi Department of Education to serve on the Mississippi Teacher Advisory Council. This is a big honor, and I know these two will represent our schools and staff so very well. I would also like to give a shout out to Petal High School for being selected by Signature Magazine readers as the first place winner for Best Public High School in 2021, Best of the Pine Belt competition. Go Panthers, and we are so proud. A few dates that I want to uh, throw out to you guys is progress reports came out the first week of September. It is so important, families, that you sit down with your students, go over all the positives and things that are taking place in your student's life academically. Also, those areas that need to improve, please have those conversations. Reach out to our, uh, our teachers and our staff, and we will be glad to help you and assist you to get on the right track. But again, these progress reports are so important to review and to set new goals as we close out this first nine weeks of school. Also, as a reminder, Monday, September 6th, we will recognize and honor the Labor Day holiday. All schools and offices will be closed on this day. And lastly, remember, September 14th, our Tuesday, is our monthly school board meeting that will be housed at Petal Middle School Auditorium. All right, in closing, I would like to remind you to be on the lookout for district communication through our school status, which comes through calls, texts, and emails. Also, be sure to check out our website and official social media outlets frequently so that you can connect and stay abreast of what's going on in our district. Remember, this is the official information coming from our school district from these different avenues. 
We look forward to working with you closely throughout this school year. If we can do anything to assist you, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you soon.